What's up? What's up? What's up? Taking a midday break out in my favorite spot in the um in my home, which is my outdoor living room. And I am sitting here and having a chat with Miss Carmela Wilson. She is a marketing automation maven. And when I tell you some of the strategies and the tips that she has to just supercharge what you do from a marketing standpoint and help you automate your lead generation to build more freedom in your business. We're about to get into it. Before we do that, let me introduce myself. My name is Chanel. Coaches and experts hire me when they want to dominate on social media with cash generating social media content strategies. Six months of content in less than six days. And automated lead generation is one way to be able to do that and create more freedom in your business. Carmela, introduce yourself and let's jump right on into this topic. Hey, hey, thanks for that intro. So now my name is Carmela Wilson. And yes, I'm the marketing automation maven. Clients come to me when they're ready to put some fire behind their lead generation, um, as well as their launches using Facebook and Instagram ads and funnels. We offer done for you, done all, uh, funnel building services, marketing strategy, as well as um, Facebook ads and Instagram ads, VIP days. So you can actually run your ads on your own without having to hire an agency. So awesome. pleased to be here. <laughs> Back to you, Chanel. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's just jump right on into this conversation. So Carmela is gonna be one of my awesome speakers next week at the Freedom is the New Flex Virtual Summit. It's on June 15th. And one of the reasons why I love being able to host summits, but really be able to collaborate with other powerhouses. So this is the power of social media. Carmela and I met, what, two years ago? I think it was on a year and Clubhouse. Half probably now. Yeah. Yep, on Clubhouse, we've been able to, you know, collaborate with each other, hire each other, refer clients to each other. And this is the power of, you know, just really creating freedom in your business. So when we talk about like lead generation and automation, because sometimes people get a little bit like, you know, like automation freaks people out, right? But tell us how automation can help accelerate that lead generation and add more freedom in your business. Listen, it's so easy to get bogged down on all the little things that need to get done in your business every single day. And when you sit down and think about it, sometimes you can find yourself that you spent an entire day and you still don't have any like one big rock to show for it that you were mm -hmm. able to accomplish during that day. Because all these little things just add up and you may think right. to yourself along the way, OK, well, that only take me 10 minutes. Okay, that only take me seven minutes. That only take me three minutes. But by the time you add up all these three and five and seven minutes, 17 minute type projects, you know, you've eaten away at two and three hours of your day on uh, things that you that don't generate any revenue for your business. Mm -hmm. So what yeah. I help people to do is to identify those areas of their their business, their funnels that are leaking. Uh, and when I say leaking, I mean, they're not revenue generated. <laughs> as people refer to leaking as you know you're leaking funnel from like ad gen and all, i'm sorry from lead generation all that and that is true but what i'm talking about is all the little things that happen during the course of the day for you to run your business that are leaking your time or you know taking your time away from mm -hmm. you that are taking dollars away from you just due to lost opportunity costs every minute you spend doing one thing is a minute you can't spend doing something Absolutely. Every minute you spend on a non-revenue generating activity is a minute you can't spend on a revenue generating activity. So what I love to do is help people to identify how they spend their time during the day. What are the processes that are repetitive and non-revenue generating? And then we figure out a way to automate as much of that as possible to mm -hmm. completely take that off your plate, take that off your team's plate. And then for those things that can't be automated, then we'll, you know, figure out a way for you to delegate those things. So you can truly be the CEO of your business and not work so hard at it. I love that. And it creates that freedom and flexibility. You know, you exactly. can, you know, be, you know, traveling and you know that your lead generation is already, you know, taking care of you on the back end. You can be hanging out, you know, with, you know, your kid's school and know that your lead generation is already taken care of. So I love that piece of it. And lead generation is the pulse of your business. So if you aren't bringing in leads, there you go. And at some yeah. point, your business will dry up. So let's even chat about like, small, let me let me just let me just uh, amplify what you said. Even something as small as like having a calendar, you mm -hmm. know, and there there are different schools of thought. Some people don't like having online calendars. Some people do. But here's the thing: it takes you longer 
than you think when it comes to handling things like back and forth in a DM. Oh my gosh. Find yes. out a time that works for everybody, right? You may think, well, that only took about five minutes to identify a time mm -hmm. that worked for everybody. So I'd rather have that personal touch. Here's the problem. And this is the way most brains work. Mm -hmm. You have to sort of, once you've done that thing, you normally can't jump right back into something. There's like right. a transition period, right? Like for me, when I finish up a call, I don't finish that jump and jump into something else that's going to require me to use my brain. I have to kind of ease my way to it. Mm -hmm. So that thing that would maybe just took you five or 10 minutes to get straight. Now it's 30 minutes before you can get back to anything productive because you have right. to have that period of time in between to sort of get back into the swing of things. I don't know about you, but like for me, when I write, I get in a zone and it's like, ah, mm -hmm. and if I'm not in that zone, it's harder for me to come up with content. Well, if I've got to stop in the middle of what I'm doing to book somebody on my calendar, mm -hmm. then that's it. Like I, I may not get back in that zone again for the whole rest of the day. Right. So the idea is to be able to spend your time doing those things that really add value. So you don't have so many breaks in the day mm -hmm. that are you know, keeping you from being able to earn the revenue that you want to have the freedom and time flexibility. That you need. I love that you said that because a lot of times what happens is people think, oh, well, it's just five minutes. But it's not just just the five minutes. It's the distraction that comes with that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you can go in and schedule your own event or go in and schedule your own calendar item. But then you get distracted. So it's like you want to not necessarily automate just that piece of it, but you're trying to minimize the distractions that come with it as well. So I love that you talked about that. So but it takes some time. right? It does take some mindset shift. So from a mindset standpoint, what what how do you advise your clients to be able to say you know what you can't do it all so here are some mindset shifts that you need to do to be able to delegate and put some things on autopilot i don't want you to really agitate what the what they're going through and really help them to understand that while they think they're being efficient or maybe uh not they're not spending money on certain things or time on certain things so they feel like they're they're doing the best they can some people like that that hustle culture right they feel mm -hmm. like they're not successful unless they're out here hustling all the time. And there's some bro marketers that still teach that kind of stuff. I don't subscribe to that at all. I used yeah. to have a Facebook group called the Fully Booked Business Club. Mm -hmm. And I archived that group because I don't <laughs> want, yeah, I, I don't even like to put out there that I want you to be fully booked. Of course, I want you to make the money and the revenue right. that you want. But if you're fully booked, you don't have any time for you. I don't mm -hmm. want that. I want to right. be booked enough <laughs> to yep. have the freedom that I want. I don't want to be fully booked. Yep. So <laughs> once you uh, kind of help people understand that shift and not like, you know, you, Chanel and others that are in our circle, we all had six figure careers in corporate. Mm -hmm. Like we could still be doing that. Right. And, you know, my job, I had been doing it for so long that I could do probably a day's worth of work in about two hours. If I were to sit down and really focus, mm -hmm. I could probably do an entire day's worth of work in about two hours. And then the rest of the time, you know. Yeah. I made a nice six figure salary. I had five weeks of vacation. I didn't have to worry about getting paid. I didn't have to hustle for sales. That wasn't mm -hmm. my job. Right. You I had benefits and you were really cool. Really <laughs> yeah. Benefits, yeah. It wasn't that stimulating, but they paid me real, real well. Mm -hmm. Right. I did not enjoy it. Right. And I gave it up because I wanted something better for my mind, for my life, for I wanted to do things that were uh, me. If I wanted to just work all day and not enjoy it, I could have kept my six figure job. Yeah, there's no benefit in leaving that something that's that cushy to go hustle out here in these entrepreneurial streets to be more stressed. So Absolutely. for me, it's like I I need to build the thing that I want, and it's okay if you hustle initially. I'm not saying it's smooth. It's not. Mm -hmm. You gotta hustle at some point. But the goal is not to continue with that hustle because if that's the case, you can just go back to corporate and just collect a check. Like I did just enough to get, not to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> right, but what you don't want to do is get fired in your own business. And exactly. or what you also don't want to do is if you you are, you are leave your you know nice paying corporate job, but then you actually turn your business into a job for yourself. And so exactly. that's what automation, you know, and being able to just add in some freedom, add in some flexibility, because otherwise your business turns into a job and it eats you alive. You don't have any time, freedom, you're stressed, you're burnt out, it's overwhelming. And sometimes it can like really, you know, mess with your mental health as well. So just kind of making sure that we don't try transform our business into a 24-7 job. Exactly. 
Yep, exactly. So I'm chatting with Carmela. We're talking about automated lead generation um, and how it builds more freedom and flexibility into your schedule. And next week, she is going to be one of my dynamic speakers at the Freedom is the New Flex virtual summit. It's on Wednesday, June 15th. And I'm super excited to be able to work with Carmela and have her on the stage. Um, so Carmela is a marketing maven. and But she also, you know, has years of marketing experience, finance experience. So she does I love the the way that she thinks about marketing because it's not just she and I have like a, a similar finance background. It's just not about the marketing piece. It's about really like what makes business sense for you. So when you think about, you know, just automation, when you think about lead generation, Carmelo, what is like one tip that you would give, you know, somebody who's watching on how to just really build freedom into their business or how you're building freedom into your business? It, it comes down to identifying a way to craft an experience for your clients or for your prospects that feels authentic to you, that makes them feel cared for, and but ultimately allows a lot of that to happen without your intervention. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have had really bad automation experiences, which <laughs> is why they don't want to do anything automated in their own business. I don't know how mm -hmm. many times you've gotten caught in some type of a phone tree in a customer service line when you kept going representative right representative. Or, no representative. or back in the day when you would click zero, the button zero, and you're zero. like right. right that's a bad automation experience that's not supposed to be you right. that usually <laughs> comes from people not creating an experience that reflects the kind of business that they want to have and how they want to show up in the world so i always tell people you need to spend twice as much time with your strategy than you do mm -hmm. with the building once you build out that strategy and you know the journey you want to take people on, the building part is easy. For somebody like mm -hmm. me, if, if it's not easy for you, you need to hire somebody like me to yeah, implement absolutely. it. Absolutely, right. But I can't even implement it for you if your strategy is ragged. Mm -hmm. So people need to sitting down and, and figuring out what they want that journey to feel like. And that's everything from not just the step one, step two, step three. It's very easy. Okay, I'm going to have to have a form mm -hmm. that's an opt-in. And then... Uh, Maybe if this is even if I don't like this, and then they don't think about what happens to people opt in. Are you going to just are you sending them to a calendar? Right. Are you sending them to a thank you page? Are you sending them to an upsell? Okay, and then that's when the deer is de what you call that the deer in the headlights yeah. look. When you start asking yeah. all those There's questions, people are like, <laughs> right? Yeah. People people think okay, I got this ebook. I want to get people to, to opt in. Okay, good. That's one step. There's a page and a form. Okay, two steps. Mm -hmm. Page and a form. What happens after they opt in? What's your plan? Right. Where did they go? They sit now, there. Yeah, like they, sit there. <laughs> they go sit there. Right. You get everybody on your list, you don't ever talk to. Them. Right. right. So, so those are the things you need to plan out ahead of time. Now, here's the thing. When it comes to freedom is the new flex, you're going to be not free for a minute. <laughs> right. Because all of this takes time to plan and build. But what you're doing is you're sacrificing it on the front end mm -hmm. so that you can then reap the benefits of it on the back end. And this isn't something that takes years and years to put together. Right. I mean, you can have it all built out, depending upon how complex your funnels are, you know, in 90 days. This yeah, isn't something that's going to take you all year and a day. But you need to be willing to spend that time up front and or money to get it done right. And then you will be able to reap the rewards of, of having that freedom in place so like i said in things like automating your lead gen with an ebook or a checklist or a quiz or whatever on the front end if you want to have people to book a call with you can they do that online without having to dm you mm -hmm. all right let's say you have that online they can go ahead and click and they can book and i don't ever recommend that people just have their calendars out there for any and everybody to just book my time is valuable your right. time is valuable everybody ought to treat their time as a commodity that can never be replaced mm -hmm. and so if you are going to have people be able to uh, to book a calendar, you want to have some way of segmenting them as well. That can also be automated. A series right. of questions that people need to answer. If they answer a certain way, that qualifies them to get access to your calendar. If they don't Absolutely. answer a certain way, that qualifies them to get access to your free Facebook group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and no right. harm, no foul. But you know, my time on the phone is meant for you to, you know, for my high ticket offers for us to figure out how to work together. It's, it's an enrollment to call, to right? <laughs> Me to convince you that I'm the right one for you. It's not for you to act like you're interviewing me. Like I'm interviewing you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> At that point. Uh, right. And so you want to have something set up where you can segment folks, you know, up front for that. But yeah, you can automate the booking of that type of that 
the segmentation of that, the booking mm -hmm. on the back end. And then what is your post call booking experience, right? What you don't want to do is have people book on your calendar and then they don't ever hear from you ever. Like maybe right. you send out one reminder, right? Mm -hmm. Depending upon the type of offer you have, you can create an entire pre-call experience that gets people excited to want to work with you. you right. can and they're prepped for your call. For your call. Send them testimonials, send them other tips, send them information about how to get the most out of the time you have to get the call. Like those are things that help to pre-frame people so mm -hmm. that when they hop on the call with you, they're excited to right. work with you. I have very few no-shows. I'm not saying that everybody mm -hmm. I talk to says yes to my offer. They don't. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But I have very few, I think I can only count on one hand, not even five fingers, the number of people who have no-showed me this year. Mm -hmm. Entire call booking and post-call booking experience is something I do hear from people is, wow, I couldn't wait to hop on this call because I was excited about just everything that's I went cool. through. <laughs> yep, that is so cool. And that's what you want. And the one thing that I want to highlight that you mentioned is, you know, when we think about freedom and flexibility in our business, we have the freedom to choose our clients. Like you said, I'm interviewing you on the, on the discovery call. This, you know, this is, and when you put in some of that automation in place, this is a way that you can choose the clients that you work with, right? Versus just letting anybody and everybody get on your calendar and then you end up frustrated. So I love that you shared that point as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love to share that point. So let's let's um I know you got some stuff coming up. Where can people find you out on these internet streets? People can find me at carmelawilson.com. I'm in the process of redoing my website, but you can get information on how you can reach out to me at carmelawilson.com, C A R M E L L A Wilson.com. Um come back in a month, it's gonna be a experience it's gonna be right. on and popping y'all it's good that's what she's trying to tell y'all come back come back but right now you can popping. at least see you see things that i have that i have going on there as well and if anybody is at the point where um they are ready to run their facebook ads and they don't want to hire an agency or they've been burned by an agency um and they know that you know ads can work for them because they see their mm -hmm. competitor killing it right um, then we do have, I do have my VIP days and I have two slots available for July where we run awesome. through and create your whole entire ad campaign in the day. I build it out for you. You see what I'm doing. You ask me questions mm -hmm. and we also get your ad strategy, your messaging, your avatar. We build all of that out. Um, so at the end of it, all you have to do is hit publish on your ads. And it's ready to and go. See, so this, this is, is what we're talking somebody. about, the freedom. Yeah. Yep. 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 This is Building ideal for somebody who's got a lot like coming up or has an evergreen offer, a higher ticket offer. This is for higher ticket offers. Someone who's got a higher ticket offer that's evergreen that they want to be able to just promote on Facebook mm -hmm. and Instagram. That's what that offers for. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you heard it here first. Go find Carmela, get in touch with her. She only got two spots for her uh, freedom based <laughs> Facebook <laughs> ads. But Carmela is also going to be speaking next week, June 15th, at the Freedom is the New Flex Virtual Summit. So you can get more about her as well as the other speakers and get in touch with her. She has a link on the website. Go to freedomisaflex.com to RSVP for the Virtual Summit. You'll see there are two different options. I want you to do the VIP option. You want to do the VIP option because it's a close, intimate space, really curated for intentional collaboration and networking with other bosses like Carmela and as well as our other speakers. So super excited, Carmela. Thanks for joining me. I know that you got a bunch going on, but I appreciate you taking time out to chat with us and figure out a way that we can add some more freedom in our business by automating the lead generation. So I appreciate you for being here. And y'all, I appreciate you for tuning in. Head to freedomisaflex.com and register for the Freedom is the New Flex Virtual Summit. Thanks, Chanel. Thanks, everybody. Bye. All right. Bye.